more, the state wants families to have a plan to stay safe as we get closer to severe weather season. As Glenn mentioned, rain is now expected tomorrow. Channel 2's Linda Stouffer went to Douglas County where safety officials have a new way to get people focused on being prepared for an emergency. Silly cartoons play until the weather gets serious. This is a News 5 severe weather alert. A simulator blasts wind noises and then flames like a fire from ripped power lines. This kitchen is in the path of a tornado. It feels like the walls are about to push in. Officials want kids to be thinking about what they would do if all of this was real. We just experienced a tornado very realistically. Sherry Yurta will take this simulated weather show on the road to schools in Douglas County. This new quaint red brick safety house cost about $120,000 through a special sales tax. Severe weather house uh, was purchased with splossed money. The fire chief hopes children will remember how severe weather can really be. Make sure you have a safe place, an interior room in your house uh, or a basement. We don't want them to be scared of weather. We want them to be respectful of the weather. Trees even hit the Douglas County Emergency Management Director's house in 2008. His family stayed safe because they were in the basement, something he wants people to think about during Georgia's Severe Weather Preparedness Week. They never think it will happen to themselves. Have a plan, practice that plan, perfect that plan, and then you can execute it when you need to. In Douglas County, Linda Stover, Channel 2 Action News.